Uh, it's time to look at the morning papers. The astrophysicist Professor Carol Mundell is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, let's start straight away with what you've been picking out. Um, whistleblowers are to be protected. W where does this come from? So this is actually coming out of um, a long-running problem that has been identified in the NHS. And of course, it's, you know, it's, not, it's not only um, associated with the NHS, but this is really what this story is based on. Um, Sir Robert Francis is conducting an inquiry into the Mid-Staffordshire hospital failings. Um, and of course, these people photographed here have been victims of um, victimisation, um, and they've, they've actually been sort of drummed out of their jobs for whistleblowing, um, knowing about wrongdoing and actually raising that. So uh, Jeremy Hunt, Health Minister, has said that he wants to bring in better checks to protect whistleblowers. They're already protected by law, but obviously there were failings in these cases um, where senior managers were alleged to have not followed those mm -hmm. guidelines and actually not followed even the, the complaints that were raised. Um, and so obviously you know, it's, it's incredibly important, for, for example, in the care industry, in education, in all sorts of sectors. Um, and it, in parallel to this, they're also bringing in new initiatives to train junior staff, new doctors and nurses, to notice those human angles and possibly help problems before they get get escalated to the point of needing a cover-up um, and also then so that if they do bring in um, new legislation or new guidelines into whistleblowing that there are procedures there to follow and in fact you know they identify in this article that other industries particularly where safety is important like the aviation have very very strict pro protocols and it's those sorts of procedures and then making managers follow them mm. that actually increases safety. It's in not these. a new issue this is it? It's a very long-standing issue and it's an incredibly serious one. And as yeah. you said it stretches through all industries, Absolutely. pharmaceuticals, banks, King, That's all right. sorts. Education, yeah. care, care homes, all of these. This year we celebrate the 800th anniversary of the Magna Carta. Uh, the existing documents have all come together in, I think, the British Library just in the last couple of weeks. We were there live for breakfast just the other day. But here we are. Another one, new Another one's one. been uncovered. That's right. I mean, uh, they actually say that there are fewer copies of the Magna Carta found than mummified pharaohs. So this, wow. is, a, this is a great find. And um, they think it's about worth about £10 million. It was found in the archives um, in the, the town of the Kentish town of Sandwich. And they think it's worth about £10 million. Um, it's a piece of the Magna Carta that was glued into a Victorian scrapbook. So if you've got any scrapbooks in your loft, go yeah. and have a look, dig through and see what might be there. So it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic because obviously, um, you know, in Britain we, we value it, you know, we think of it as sort of an important piece of history. In the States, of course, in the United States, it's they consider it to be the basis of their entire constitution. Absolutely, yeah. um, So it's a very important document and great that there's, that there's another one been found. Mm. It must look very special when you saw it, all, all gathered together at the British... Yeah, I think it was Tim that was there, actually, but um, it, it's, it's extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it must have been very special for it Tim. It was very special for Tim, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very important. Fascinating what you say about the Americans. I remember going to uh, Running Mead a couple of years ago, again, for breakfast, um, and reporting on it there, and, and, and they really do have a, a deep sort of understanding, a, a love of it, really, even more so than we do, I think. That's right, because we don't have a written constitution, no. so this is actually the closest we have to that. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about anthropology Indeed. as an A-level. Yes, so um, this is a, an A-level that the exam board AQA um, have decided to discontinue. Um, it isn't the most um, popular one, one might say, by student numbers. They say there were about 222 students last year who were ready to take it for the exam. Um, and so the critics are saying that the decision to axe it um, is purely a business one mm. and that in fact because it's not seen as something that's going to make great great profit um, it's been axed but in fact that this is a, a bad decision um, and they're actually appealing to Prince Charles who did study at a university when he was a first year undergraduate he studied anthropology and archaeology so they're calling for it to be saved at a time when we actually need more tolerance and understanding of cultures um, in our own culture and in others anthropology really is seen as the, the core to that um, so there is a call from the um, Royal Anthropological Institute um, to reverse this decision to axe it. Although it's not, you know, an incredibly common A level, there are obviously mm. students who want to take it. And in fact, they've now argued that just, it's a new A level that they've just started to embed. And so this is the wrong time to decide about axing it. Give it a little bit more time. Mm. Okay. Superfood. You know, I was in a Green Gracie yesterday, and I saw these purple sprouts, and I'd never seen them before. They're tasty. Are they? Yeah, Do they really just tasty. taste just like the normal ones? Yeah. If you like sprouts, I mean, it depends if you like sprouts, sprouts. really. I love sprouts. But purple but. sprouts, I thought that was great. So the latest superfood, don't tell the children, 
It's related. <laughs> it's well, related to sprouts. I love sprouts, and my children love sprouts. Yeah. Um, I hadn't actually heard of these, and they've been out for a, a little while, okay. actually, you know, going right back to 2009, 2010. And they were produced with um, natural crossbreeding between sprouts and kale. Um, but actually, in terms of health benefits, they give you double the amount of vitamin B6, which helps us to use and store our energy from our food. Um, and it, like, they actually give you twice the amount of vitamin C. And so they're actually a little bit sweeter, um, apparently milder in taste than sprouts sprouts and that they're quite easy to cook so you can stir fry them you can microwave them, you can do all sorts of things with them so apparently they're very popular they're in all of the uh, sort of major supermarkets and stockists and uh, they seem to be being exported now to Netherlands Germany Switzerland Denmark mm. so we might see them take off and be on our Christmas day Do you know when tables. we came in this morning we were talking about I was telling you what I had for my dinner mm -hmm. last night and it was um, I can never pronounce it it's Cavallo Nero Nero Cavallo Nero, Cavallo yeah. Nero cabbage there's all Black the recipes cabbage. telling me all about the, all the recipes. <laughs> yeah. I don't write them myself, they're in a book, you know? We've got a book for these. But they are becoming so know, much more popular, aren't they? I'd love they? to taste them. I, know. Yeah. I think it's uh, going back to some really traditional vegetables as well. There's another news story just out today um, that people are growing their own and they're going to the heritage seed archives and they're, com they're completely swamped with the requests for these traditional vegetables that were made like out black carrots. Years ago. That's right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. purple, purple carrots. Right. Right. Very healthy and we want to grow in our own gardens. The day we Something export them to Belgium, to Brussels, that'll be the trick. Something to think about for Thanks, Sunday Carol. lunch. Carol, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks so much. We're going to be back with a summary of the morning's main news in a short while. Do stay with us.